hard to believe everything that Louis Zamperini went through in his life, from being an Olympic athlete to surviving a plane crash, weeks at sea, lost on a raft, and mm. then being tortured for years as a prisoner of war. But when he's finally freed and returns home, what has changed and why does he need to be redeemed? I feel like physically he's freed from the prisoner of war camp, but mentally there's so much going on, mentally and emotionally, he's still very much in prison. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So the redemption aspect is, it, I think it's more about, it, it wasn't necessarily that other people were asking him, or that he needed to re be redeemed for other people, it was for himself, mm -hmm. you know, for the choices that he made and the way that he tried to handle certain things. Um, which is, you know, that's synonymous with the human experience, yeah. you know, because the, the old, it's whatever cliche you want to say, but like the man in the mirror or whatever, mm -hmm. right? That's the only person that you have to be honest with, or because it's the only person that, in, at the end of for reveal, for reveal day, that you're looking at, and you're saying, okay, cool. So I have to live up to those expectations. So that's what he's fighting against. So guys, it's been two years since you've released new music. What was it about Louis Zamperini's story and the movie that made you put aside your hiatus when you're approached to write a song for the movie? We felt like this story um, was worth singing about. As a songwriter, you're always looking for stories that that resonate. You know, the book and the film are both such amazing inspirations to, to keep going, to fight for something bigger, and it felt like the song almost came to us rather than us chasing it down. It's so sad that his PTSD and his, kind of his quest for revenge yeah. pushes his and Cynthia's marriage to the brink of divorce. What was it about the 1949 Billy Graham's Crusades that renewed Cynthia's commitment to her marriage? She was in a really dark place. I think their, their marriage was a really big struggle at that point in time, and I. I don't think she knew what to do. PTSD wasn't really recognized at that time, so she didn't even necessarily know what he was going through. When she was introduced to Billy Graham, I, I think it just gave her hope, and there was kind of a light at the end of the tunnel, and it made her realize, like, okay, this is my husband, we mm -hmm. took vows, we're gonna get through this. It just kind of opened her eyes and allowed her to see it maybe from a different light. Um, and allow her to push push through and ultimately get him to go and change his life. Can you explain the special connection you have to Louis Zamperini via your grandfather? Yeah, it was a story that was always kind of in circulation in our family. Mm -hmm. Our grandfather, World War II veteran, um, bomber pilot, shot down, POW, a lot of parallels between his story and Louis. To be asked to kind of tell that story with what we do with songs was, was a real honor. The movie is about suffering, adversity, and trying to cope. So what is one way that you try and cope with some of the troubles that life brings you? Ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Deep breathing? Deep breathing, meditation. <laughs> yeah, meditation music, helps. Music really helps me get yeah. out of my head. I try to connect with things that I just know are more important. You know, just kind of, you know, not unlike, I think, what a lot of people do. In, in Louis' case, you know, connecting with understanding of that there's something more out there, or there's something that life is not just about pain, it's not just about suffering, that's a, that's a very important part of it because it helps you understand when there's happiness and there's wonderful things as well, but it's not just about that. Mm -hmm. And so when you can recognize those things actively and participate in them, it becomes a lot easier to deal with the other stuff. I go to this one rock on the beach and I sit there, oftentimes in the middle of the night by myself, mm -hmm. and that moment of solitude and quiet and meditation uh, is, can go so much further than any form of connectivity. Yeah, I mean, I think music is um, is definitely been that for me, to be able to wrestle with things that I don't understand. I think that's mostly what we've made a career about doing, is not singing about what we know, but about what we don't know, and wrestling in that tension, and I think music's a perfect medium for that. Music in the ocean, I feel like they're, they're places where you can pray and feel like you're connected with a bigger story yeah. than your own. What was the creative process like for You Found Me? And how is the creative process different for writing a song for a movie compared to writing a song for a Switchwood album? It's actually sometimes easier to write for a movie than for an album because um, the movie's already being made. There's a storyline, there's a plot, there's yeah. like things that you're, you're wanting to touch on, whereas in life, in your own life, you, you have a myriad of ideas and thoughts and places you can take it. So, especially with this particular movie, um, it really did feel like we weren't having to chase after something nebulous that was hard to articulate. It felt like all the ideas and everything came to us in a very natural way. I was on a red-eye flight, and by the time we landed, the song was pretty much done. 
Wow, how long was the flight? It was uh, San Diego to Orlando, so yeah, like yeah. six hour flight. It's amazing how after Louis visits Billy Graham's Crusades, that he stops drinking straight away, yeah. the nightmares stop, yeah. and incredibly he forgives his POW guards. Yeah. So what does this say about the power of forgiveness? I mean, forgiveness is huge. I think mm -hmm. it's a really hard thing to do. So, so maybe when you're at that point and you're able to forgive, especially on that level, I can only imagine it, it clears your mind, it clears your soul, it just sure. allows you to be and kind of those demons fade away. Yeah. It's, it's an understanding, it's, it's like, if you teach somebody that two plus two equals four, and it makes sense to them, then their whole world changes. Mm -hmm. And so for Lou in this case, he was looking and looking and he couldn't make sense of anything. And then suddenly something clicked with him and it connected. And so then these other things that had so much power in the past, now they was able to move through them. Yeah. So whatever that thing is, find your, find your number four. What's next for Switchfoot and how long is this hiatus gonna go on for? I mean, it felt really good to be all in the same room playing music together. Mm -hmm. um, that's something that never never gets old, you know. But I think part of the hiatus was to, you know, you never want to just keep doing something just because that's what you're doing. It needs to be intentionality and purpose behind it. And so we'll see, we'll see what's next. Thank you so much for talking to Hey You Guys. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey you guys.